thank you all for being here to demand that uh, D.A. Gonzalez free Anthony Sims. Um, I'm Jonathan Hiles, and I represent Anthony along with Tom Hoffman. Now, Anthony has served 23 years in prison for a murder he didn't commit. The evidence of his innocence is overwhelming, and that evidence is included in court papers we filed in December and April. Next Wednesday, May 12th, the DA's office is scheduled to respond to our motion to vacate Anthony's conviction. We're calling on DA Gonzalez to do what is right, to join our motion to vacate Anthony's conviction and to let him go home where he belongs. Right. Now, I'd like to give a little background on Anthony's case, which was deeply flawed from the start. Anthony was convicted in 1999 of murdering Li Run Chen, a young man who was killed by a single shotgun blast while he was working at a Chinese restaurant in Bushwick. Now, the evidence always pointed away from Anthony and toward his high school friend, Julius Graves. The shotgun used in the murder was kept in a lockbox in the apartment where Julius lived. After the murder, Julius took the gun cleaned it of his fingerprints, and gave the gun to a 14-year-old to hide from police. This is undisputed. Yet Anthony was charged because Julius and those close to him came forward to implicate Anthony in order to get Julius off the hook. Anthony was also charged because police and prosecutors were more intent on getting a conviction than getting to the truth. Now at trial, even as the deck was stacked against Anthony, the jurors had their doubts. They deliberated for several days and they deadlocked. But then they reached a compromise. They acquitted Anthony of intentional murder, which the crime clearly was, but they convicted him of depraved indifference murder, which they thought was a lesser charge. Now, what's become clear in the last year is that Anthony wouldn't have been convicted of anything if police and prosecutors had not withheld evidence of his innocence. This included a report from an eyewitness who told police she saw Julius running out of the Chinese restaurant with a shotgun, the murder weapon. Also undisclosed was evidence of benefits that Graves, Julius Graves received in exchange for his testimony. This included a free pass, a free pass for his possession of the shotgun, as well as a free pass for his probation violations. And Julius also received free meals, free housing, that totaled roughly $25,000 over the course of the year, undisclosed. And the list of evidence that was withheld at trial goes on. It's too long to enumerate, but it includes police reports that totally discredit the prosecution witnesses and also reveal that a friend of Julius implicated him in the murder. Now, based on all this evidence, we filed a motion in December to vacate Anthony's conviction and to dismiss all of the charges against him. We hope we really hoped that the DA's office would join our motion because it's so obvious that Anthony is innocent. But the DA's office has not joined our motion, nor have they conducted an impartial investigation. In fact, they stated that they intended to oppose Anthony's motion before they reviewed the NYPD case file and before they even interviewed the witness who saw Julius Graves running from the Chinese restaurant, the scene of the crime, with a shotgun, the murder weapon. Now, this isn't the first time that the DA's office has resisted an impartial review of Anthony's case. In 2017, Anthony applied for relief to the DA's conviction review unit, but the review unit denied his request without conducting an investigation. Now, notably, the head of the conviction review unit 
Mark Hale, is the same prosecutor who prosecuted Anthony. Same exact thing they're doing to me. And Hale also prosecuted, prosecuted an innocent man named Kelly Cooper, who we'll hear from later. Jail for Hale! Whose Jail conviction, for Hale! Jail for Hale! Whose, whose conviction Jail. was dismissed last year based on egregious evidence suppression. And Kelly Cooper also had appeal to the conviction review unit, and they had to decline to investigate his case. So how is the prosecutor who has these wrongful convictions the head of the conviction review unit? And why is the DA's office opposing Anthony's release despite all this evidence of his innocence? Now, it's not too late for Hale, it's not too late for Gonzalez to do the right thing. And what that means is just doing what's in his power. He can join our motion to vacate Anthony's conviction and to let him go home. We're just asking DA Gonzalez to do what is right. So DA Gonzalez, we call on you to join our motion to let Anthony reunite with his parents, with his sons, and with his wife. Right Free thing. Anthony Sims. Free Free Anthony Sims. Anthony Sims.